Picture this, a time when television screens were a portal to a world of enchantment, where bewitching narratives wove their spell upon eager audiences. It was the year 1976 when a certain TV series, Tabitha, materialized onto the scene, breathing fresh life into a universe already familiar to those who had met its predecessor, Bewitched. The air was electric with anticipation, minds curious about the continuation of the legacy. As viewers tuned in, they were greeted by the titular character, Tabitha Stevens, all grown up and ready to embrace her supernatural heritage. The series unveiled a panorama of escapades, both magical and mundane, each episode unfolding like a carefully crafted spell. The stage was set for an array of whimsical moments that tiptoed between the ordinary and the extraordinary. It was as if reality itself had been spun into a delightful concoction, leaving a trail of laughter and wonder in its wake. In the midst of this enchantment, countless memories were etched into the collective consciousness of those who experienced it. The quirkiness of Tabitha's witchly endeavors, her interactions with the mortal world, and the uncanny situations that arose, all combined to create a tapestry of nostalgia that continues to tug at the heartstrings even today. Now, allow your mind to step into the magical vortex as we unravel some lesser-known facets of this beloved series. Did you know that the show's concept was a daring departure from its predecessor, focusing on Tabitha's personal and professional life, rather than being centered solely around her magical abilities? And there's more to discover, hidden gems and curious tidbits that might just rekindle that spark of fondness you felt during your very first encounter with Tabitha. So, let's embark on this journey of rediscovery, peeling back the layers of time to unearth these intriguing facts, all wrapped up with a sprinkle of nostalgia and a dash of mystery. Because in the realm of television, every show, every story, has its own magic waiting to be rekindled. And with that, let's unveil the curtain on these random facts about Tabitha, transporting you back to a time when the mystical and the mundane danced in perfect harmony, inviting you to relive those cherished moments once more. Tabitha, the 1976 TV series, emerged onto the screen with a promising reception and impressive ratings. However, despite its strong start, the show's popularity waned, leading to its untimely cancellation after just one season, comprising a mere 12 episodes. This abrupt ending left fans puzzled and craving more. Among the notable guest stars who graced the show was Jack Riley, a familiar face from his recurring role as Elliot Carlin on The Bob Newhart Show. In Tabitha, Riley portrayed a jewelry store owner, showcasing his versatile acting skills beyond his signature character. Riley's presence added depth to the show's dynamic cast and reminded audiences of his undeniable talent. Another standout performer in Tabitha was Karen Morrow, acclaimed for her Broadway prowess and commanding singing voice. Portraying Aunt Minerva, Morrow's performance brought a touch of Broadway magic to the small screen. Her nomination for a Tony Award, garnered for her role in the Broadway musical I Had a Ball, underscored her exceptional talent and elevated the show's pedigree. In hindsight, Tabitha may have been short-lived, but its impact on the era's television landscape remains notable. The series offered glimpses of star power like Jack Riley and showcased the remarkable skills of Karen Morrow, reminding viewers of the convergence of television and Broadway. The legacy of Tabitha endures, a brief but memorable chapter in the annals of television history. Robert Urich's unexpected rise to prominence on the 1976 TV series Tabitha remains a testament to the serendipitous nature of showbiz. Initially cast for a minor role, Urich's on-screen charisma and undeniable talent so captivated the producers that they couldn't resist expanding his character's presence in the series. As Paul Thurston, Tabitha's love interest, Urich not only added a layer of charm, but also forged a magnetic on-screen chemistry that became a cornerstone of the show's appeal. Despite its relatively brief run, Tabitha managed to carve a special place in the hearts of viewers. The show's protagonist, Tabitha, portrayed with finesse and wit, garnered a cult following that has only grown over the years. Fans were drawn to the show's unique blend of humor, fantasy, and the undeniable charisma of its lead character. 
Interestingly, one of the show's most iconic elements was a nod to its predecessor, Bewitched. Aaron Murphy, who originally played Tibbeth on the beloved 1960s show, was too young to reprise her role in the spin-off series. Nevertheless, a clever touch was added to the opening credits, incorporating a clip of young Murphy from the original series. This ingenious move not only paid homage to the show's roots, but also ensured that Murphy continued to receive royalties for her contribution. In the ever-fickle world of television, Tibbeth defied expectations and etched its name in television history. The show's blend of unexpected casting turns, enduring fan appreciation, and creative callbacks has solidified its status as a memorable gem from the 70 seconds, sparking nostalgia and appreciation in viewers old and new. A snapshot of the bygone era of television, Tabitha continues to evoke smiles, capturing the essence of an era in which magic was just a sitcom away, and a star was born when least expected. The 1976 TV series Tabitha served as a significant stepping stone for Lisa Hartman, propelling her into the spotlight and solidifying her as a budding talent in Hollywood. Despite being her first major acting role, Hartman's performance garnered praise from both critics and viewers alike. Her portrayal of Tabitha Stevens, the witchy protagonist navigating the mortal world, captivated audiences and showcased her acting prowess. Hartman's success wasn't limited to the screen. Beyond her acting ventures, she showcased her musical talents by performing the show's theme song, aptly titled Tabitha. This multifaceted approach to entertainment highlighted her versatility and contributed to her burgeoning popularity. Before Tabitha, Robert Urich graced the show with his presence, marking his last regular television role before attaining stardom in the 1980s with series like Vega Dollar Sign and Spencer for Hire. His departure from the series signaled a transition in his career trajectory, leading him toward becoming a household name in the following decade. In the realm of television history, Tabitha stands as a noteworthy chapter, showcasing the talents of both Lisa Hartman and Robert Urich. The show's combination of Hartman's acting skills and musical abilities, along with Urich's early presence, contributed to its memorable impact on audiences. As the years have passed, Tabitha remains a testament to the promising beginnings of its cast members, reminding us of the magic of their talents. Tabitha, the 1976 TV series spin-off of the beloved show Bewitched, initially dazzled audiences and boasted impressive ratings, yet its gleam faded all too soon. Despite a promising start, the series grappled to sustain its early popularity, ultimately meeting its demise after just one season comprising a mere dozen episodes. One intriguing twist surrounding the show was the inclusion of a young Aaron Murphy. Portraying the titular character Tabitha Stevens in the original Bewitched, Murphy was deemed too youthful for the role in this iteration. Paradoxically, a snippet of her from the initial series found its place in the opening credits of the spin-off. Unbelievably, even though she didn't grace the screen in this new portrayal, Murphy continued to collect royalties, adding a curious layer to the show's legacy. Adding a touch of Broadway allure to the mix, Karen Morrow stepped into the shoes of Aunt Minerva. Known for her commanding vocal prowess, Morrow had previously earned acclaim on the theatrical stage. Garnering a Tony Award nomination for her role in the Broadway musical I Had a Ball, Morrow's presence lent a note of theatrical prestige to the TV landscape. In the realm of television history, Tabitha remains a fascinating case study of a show that soared before stumbling. From Aaron Murphy's royalties to Karen Morrow's Broadway connection, the series offers a glimpse into the intricate web of the entertainment world. Although its flame flickered briefly, the impact of Tabitha on the broader cultural tapestry endures. In 1976, the television landscape was graced by the presence of Tabitha, a series that not only marked Lisa Hartman's debut as a major actor, but also showcased her impressive talent, firmly establishing her as a promising Hollywood sensation. Despite her newcomer status, Hartman effortlessly won over critics and viewers alike with her captivating performance, leaving an indelible mark on the show's legacy. While Hartman Sean is the titular character, another star was born unexpectedly. Robert Urich, initially slated for a minor role, managed to charm the producers with his undeniable charisma and skill. His portrayal of Paul Thurston, Tabitha's love interest, was so compelling that the producers decided to expand his character's presence in the series. Urich's rise from a minor role to a significant one mirrored his swift descent in the industry. Adding another dimension to her talent, Lisa Hartman, 
the show's leading lady, lent her voice to the theme song Tabitha. This showcased her versatility as she not only excelled in acting but also maintained a successful singing career alongside her on-screen ventures. Hartman's dual prowess further solidified her status as a multifaceted artist. The year 1976 witnessed the blossoming of Tabitha, a series that not only introduced a young star to the world but also highlighted the unexpected rise of another. The show's legacy endures, a testament to the remarkable talents of Lisa Hartman and Robert Urich, forever intertwined with the magic of television history. As we bid adieu to this nostalgic journey through the enchanting world of the 1976 TV series, Tabitha, we're reminded of the captivating moments that have woven themselves into the tapestry of our lives. Like a gentle whisper from the past, Tabitha's supernatural charm and endearing characters continue to linger in the corners of our hearts. As you reflect on your personal connection with Tabitha, perhaps you find yourself transported back to those cozy evenings in front of the television, where magic and mischief danced hand in hand. The misadventures of Tabitha Stevens, the endearing Samantha's daughter, gifted us not only with supernatural fun, but also with a unique glimpse into the challenges of navigating life's extraordinary and ordinary moments. Now, dear friend, the spotlight is on you. What are your cherished memories? Did the mischievous magic of the show leave an indelible mark on your imagination? Whether it's a heartwarming scene that still tugs at your emotions or a character whose quirkiness resonates with your own, your thoughts are the final strokes that complete the canvas of Tabitha's legacy. Your voice is the missing spell that breathes life into this conversation. Share your favorite anecdotes, your musings, and your reflections on the world that Tabitha invited us to explore. As we come together to celebrate this timeless gem, let your words be the enchantment that binds us in our shared appreciation. Thank you, kind soul, for taking the time to journey with us down the memory lane of Tabitha. Your presence and thoughts are treasured gems in this magical chest of reminiscence. Until we weave tales anew, let your memories of Tabitha shine bright, reminding us that some spells are truly eternal.